Slime Media Sports slash Hip Hop, which is one of the only Slime Media right here. I know I just did a review on Kendrick Lamar, but I had to talk about this, especially me being from Georgia. I had to talk about this and address this. This right here is uh, my reaction slash review, I would say, on you know tragic you know death of rapper Lil Key. Rapper Lil Key was a young rapper, up and coming rapper, of YSL. Only had two albums out, but had a bunch of mixtapes out. Pretty much had his name out. If you're from Georgia, especially from the south part of Atlanta, south side of Atlanta, you definitely heard about his music and everything like that. So he suddenly, you know, has passed. They're saying of kidney failure, and they said of kidney failure. They said his organs were messed up, even you know a few days a few days before his passing as well. He had a, he was having stomach problems and everything like, and everything like that. So it was very sad here to death, you know. A little key, you know, I was with a friend out on on Friday night and heard, you know, the tragic news of that of little key dying. So you know, very, very messed up, especially you know why I sell in general, everything they're dealing with. The you know, you already if you catch me on Slime Media, I did a review on, I did a uh, reaction slash review to that about Gunner and Young Thug, you know, all them being in, in locked up right now dealing with their case and their situation, and now of course one of the young artists, little key who has died and everything like that. You know, little key one of the few artists that didn't get caught up. In the Rico charge and being locked up right now, but you know, he's you know, of course, died. You know, suddenly they said of you know, of kidney failure. We don't know what the cause of it was, what happened, but you know, we don't want to hope it drugs or drinking lean or anything like that. You know, that happens with a lot of rappers and all that. We all know about Pimp C, RP Pimp C, died of drinking lean, so we don't want to no, put it out there because I've heard no news report yet. That's what it was, was drugs or or if it was lean or anything like that. So I definitely want to put that out there, but you know. They say he died of organ failure. So very, very sad situation, Lil' Key. Lil' Key, if you saw me, um, I did a review on Slime Language 2 last year. That's one actually one of my favorite projects that came out last year, the Slime Language 2 project. I still listen to a couple songs from um from that album, especially Pay to Fine. Lil' Key is actually not on that song or anything like that. But that was one of my favorite songs I heard from last year, Pay to Fine on Y on the Slime Language 2 uh YSL's compilation album and everything like that. One of my favorite songs I heard from him, you know, on that album actually was Warrior, was him and Big Sean. So that death was good, but look, he had a lot of good songs. Licky Bleaky, that's one of my favorite songs. I like Nameless, you know, Fetish. He had a lot, a lot of good songs. You know, he had two um studio albums that came out, Long Live Mexico's and Trapping on Cleveland Part Three. Anybody that's not from Georgia know about Trapping on Cleveland. They talking about Cleveland Ave, an area on the south side of Atlanta called Cleveland Avenue. So everybody, anybody that's from Georgia or especially from the south side, definitely knows what Cleveland Avenue is. So, you know, he was very, very, you know, up and coming, very, you know, just hitting his stride, getting up there, becoming that big time artist. I always said, when I did my video on the, on the Slime Language 2 album, I always said that he had a chance of being like the um the Tiger, how Tiger was the cash money. Tiger wasn't, you know, as big, as popular, maybe with Drake and, and Nicki Minaj, but Tiger was just as big as popular because Tiger is still relevant to this day with his music and everything like that. I feel like Lil Key was up there to hitting his stride, that he was up there, he could have been the Tiger of YSL, a guy that was just, Maybe not as big as Gun is, you know. Hope Gun, you know, get in Doug all to get in this situation. They get out, they, you know, do their thing and all that. Cause like I can see, I, I feel like Gunner and Gunner can definitely can be the new Wayne and Drake of the rap game and all that. And like I said, I said somebody like Lil Key, he could definitely be like that Tiger, but the guy that's definitely relevant, consistent with his music. Probably not as big as them and everything like that, but definitely a star in his own right, in his own lane, and everything like that. I feel like he had his own lane of music, his own style. And he could have been the Tiger of YSL. So. It's very, very sad when anybody dies, especially somebody that had, like him, who had a lot of music out and was very, very talented and was so young, just 24 years old. So, so young and all that. So, you know, that's, you know, definitely, definitely messed up a sad situation, you know. What happened, you know, what happened with uh, Lil' Key. So, you know, RIP to him, thoughts and prayers with his family and everything like that. Of course, his brother Lil' Gotti and everything like that. So, you know, rest RIP Lil' Key. I know conspiracy theories are saying, he was using some sacrifice, something like that, to get Thug and Gunner out of jail and all that and everything like that, like conspiracy theories, because he dies right when they all get locked up and everything. I don't believe none of that thing, anything like that. Just, you know, whatever, you know, caused the Kenny Fair thing like, or anything like that, I feel like that's what happened. That's what caused, you know, him to die. I don't believe it was nothing like that. It was just a coincidence that he dies right when all this is going on with Gunner and you know, Thug and everything, the whole YSL. So, you know, RIP to him, like I said, RIP a little key, you know. Like I always say, man, if you like the content, please don't hesitate to hit a like a like a subscribe button. This is my reaction slash review on Lil King died on Lil King died. RIP to him. Like once again, thoughts and prayers to his family. Like I said, a good artist, definitely somebody else ready to hit this stride. Definitely is gonna be a major star and a major pro in the rap game. So RIP to Lil King. Like I said, this is Slime Media Sports slash Hip Hop. Like I always say, man, you know anything sports and music, anything sport news, right here on Slime Media Sports. I got you for anything big, anything big. I just saying sports and hip hop. So you know.
I'm out. Y'all have a good day. Be blessed and be safe wherever you're at.